Welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J, and today's video is the much anticipated room tour. So, this is a tour of my recording space, my beauty room, my uh, makeup space, whatever it is that you want to call it. This is going to be the first time I am doing a tour of my room space. So, bear with i'm a little rusty never done this before if this sounds like something that's interesting to you then definitely keep on watching because this is going to be a realistic one <laughs> Is going to be a realistic one because I am not the neutrals and you know minimalistic type of you know content creator I do love my things and it is a small space but I feel like I have heavily maximized as much space as I can and things are a little bit everywhere but that is the reality Anyway, enough talking. You can tell that I am nervous to do this. So this is the front door of my room. And the picture that you see on the door was a gift from Tolu, Makeup for Days. I talk about her all the time on my channel because she's amazing. So she sent this. I believe this was for my birthday. Yeah, this was for my birthday. And I never print pictures of myself. So... Her sending me pictures is just so appreciated because I never print pictures of myself. So, <laughs> so it's nice to have something to kind of put on my on my room door. So this is actually on like a I don't know what they call these things, but it's so easy to stick. It's just a stick on, so it's not a nail or anything. So I could swap this out if I wanted to, which I think is brilliant. And then you ready? Ta da! Okay, so let me turn on the light. Okay, so I've put my phone on a tripod, so hopefully it's a little bit steadier. And when you come into my room space, you're immediately presented with my shelving unit. On top of that, I have empty acrylic boxes, my camera box, uh, a water bottle from Revolution, my Apple Watch box, just some extra pieces of equipment and boxes. I am such a short woman that I'm even surprised I was able to sort this out in a way that I can actually see stuff because I was literally throwing things, hoping for the best. <laughs> um. So before we get to that, I just want to show you this little plaque. Again, Tolu sent me this. Um. This was for Christmas. And it says, sister, you're gorgeous. So I am so appreciative of that. I feel like it's definitely gave my room the touch that I needed over there. Initially, if you remember, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I had a picture of myself and my son, which is now here. So, um, but I love that plaque and I love keeping my son's yeah, picture. This is pretty old. But it was designed by um, one of my ex-work colleagues. She does digital art. I will put her handle on Instagram in the description box. But I literally sent her a photograph and she did this, including the canvas. I actually want her to do a couple more for me. I just haven't, just haven't got around to doing it because ideally I want an updated version of this. I really, really love this because honestly... I feel like she captured the essence of my son and I, so I love I love this. It's a it's a cute. I mean, look at his brows. <laughs> it's a cute digital art, so I love that. So back to the shelving unit. So this is how I keep my eyeshadow palettes. If you haven't seen my eyeshadow collection video, then you probably haven't seen this setup. So now I do have more eyeshadow palettes. Um, I did clutter quite a few, but I have purchased some. I know I said I wasn't going to, but, you know, anyway. Obviously, they're arranged by color. So these ones, when I say mm, they're colorful, but not too colorful, like you've got your more uh, muted colors. Some of them are more of the grunge colors. So I've just kind of gathered them. And it so happens that a lot of the Revolution palettes kind of fit into this category. It doesn't lean, it doesn't lend itself to just being a neutral palette. You've got pops of color. The ABH palettes too are the same. 
So some of my faves, obviously, I've got the Trixie Cosmetics palettes, these two palettes. I've got Natasha Denona over there. I've got the ABH palette. So um, obviously, if you haven't seen my collection video, as I said, definitely check that out because I go palette by palette showing you exactly what's in my collection. And these bags, I do have um, the same bag. Let me let me prop my phone so I can that show That works. You. But as I was saying, these bags are from a black owned brand and i've literally got them in four colors so this is the sage color and to me this is more or less my aesthetic i love big bags but i also love like smaller medium sized types of bags um and this can be worn with a strap it can be worn on the arm it's nice and soft and it does still take quite a bit like i could put my full-size wallet my phone my keys in there and it works so this comes in in different colors and i decided to store them over here because i kind of just wanted my smaller bags in the same space and I don't have that many excuse me so this is the brown is it's stunning it's stunning I mean obviously it reminds me of the Bottega bag but I feel like it's got its own identity still very oh, still very pretty so that's the brown and I said I've got the white I've got the black but then I also have the smaller size of it which looks like this so i've got this in this color and in white which i i you know this is little so this is for like just quick out and about not putting my entire wallet putting some cash in there it does have a strap and it does have a really good base so it does sit quite nicely it looks aesthetically pleasing in photographs as well so I've got that in white and then my yellow bag, as I said, was a gift. This is from River Island and I quite like it. It's coming off a little yellower than it is in real life. In real life, it's more of a mustard color and I love it. I love the gold hardware. It's just really, really, really cute, small, dainty bag. And then my cute little off-white bag from, I believe this, this is Pretty Little Thing. Pretty sure it is. This, no, sorry. Why did I say Pretty Little Thing? It's from Zara. So this is my cute little Zara bag. It's cute, you know? She's cute. She's a moment. I do have sandals that fit exactly the same color. So I always wear them together. Um, not from Zara, but they look good together. Okay. And then right here, I've got my P. Louise palettes, which I feel like it just gives that shelf a nice break from just eyeshadow, 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 which it was before. And then the middle shelf, I've got uh, my neutral palettes going across some of them have pops of color but majority of them neutral so this is new from P. Louise and this is my nude edit palette I've also got the new palette from color drain right there so I am like I'm gonna need to declutter sometime soon um, again hopefully I can get rid of some more palettes so I can actually have space because I know it's not bothering anyone, but it's kind of bothering me that some of these eyeshadow palettes on top of each other. But don't hold me to that because I might not even declutter anything. And then um, next shelf, I've got my neutrals on this side and then colors all the way. My Pat McGrath palette finally came. I know it came yesterday, actually. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy that it finally came. And then further down, I've got more new, um, more colorful palettes. The P. Louise palette, the Pat McGrath, all those are 
kind of just surfing at the top and then and then bring it down i've got my hair care stuff so these are three bins um three bins from i think b and q so i've got my hair care stuff so i've got my wigs in there um and i gave the third bin i think i gave the third bin to my mom but i've got two there and then i've got my shop my stash makeup case and that bag has my mac empties and then in front of this, I've got my facial steamer, which was a gift from Makeup for Days. So this was a gift from Makeup for Days, which just sits in front there because it's not something I use all the time. The bookcase itself is from Argus. So literally, it's quite a thick bookcase and it just fits perfectly in that corner. And I'm able to see all my eyeshadow palettes perfectly. Okay. And then right behind where I record, I've got this little trolley case. All right. And I've got my son's picture and I've got my immediate hair care, my little spray, hair care, moisturizer, facial cleanser, you know, the stuff that I use on a daily basis. I've got my little rocker box speaker. This was a gift from Elegant Touch because I like to play music when I'm working. So I've got that right behind me. And then the shelf right underneath, it, it holds my candles. A little bit messy at the moment, but it's an organized mess. So I've got my candles on this side and I've got my bath bombs, my... um lush stuff right here and then underneath i've got my camera equipment um empty container that i want to repurchase stuff just you know this is the general i don't know what to do with it so i'm just gonna shove it right there space yeah <laughs> we all have one somewhere so that's mine and that's literally when you come into my room that's the first thing you see on the right hand side okay hope that makes sense all right and then right next to it i've got um this acrylic spinning thing i've had this one for years now and i've used it for so many things in the past but right now i use it to store my fragrances and some of my lip care products and nail polishes right in front of that i've got my um Kayali fragrances i've got my juicy couture fragrances at the back so for the tray i used um the ferro rocher chocolate box i literally just put my fragrances in there and it fits perfectly um my fragrance collection will obviously show you guys how i store my fragrances so if you haven't seen that definitely check it out this is resting on a nine draw Alex Alex unit from Ikea. And I've had this for at least seven years. <laughs> I've had it for a long time and it's gone through a lot. But she's keeping up. She's she's good. She's been through a lot. It used to store all my eyeshadow palettes. And let me tell you something. It was so heavy that right now... It's so shaky because imagine it's storing at least more than half of all these palettes. It was horrendous, okay? And then these are my highlighters. These have been decluttered, so I do have quite a bit of space, which is good. All my Ofra highlighters, they're all looking pretty in white. My MAC highlighters and so on and so forth. Again, highlighter video will show you that. And then this is an overflow of my highlighters. I've got my liquid highlighters, the bigger palette highlighters, and all of that. And then I've got blushes right here. And this is the only space that I keep my blushes, which I am very proud of. And then I've got my bronzers down here. Only place I keep my bronzers as well. Super proud. And then 
I've got my skincare stuff. So I've got my face masks, my um yeah everything face masks so this could be hydrating masks this, it could be peel off masks it could be mud masks it could be any mask they all stay in here i know i have a lot i didn't end up decluttering my skincare stuff because i do go through it a lot i use it and then here i've got my moisturizers um cleanse no not moisturizer my cleansing products so face scrub um facial cleanser, anything to melt off makeup, all of that, all of that. And then here I've got my moisturizers. So moisturizers, I've got a Rogue sleep mask. And yeah, these are all moisturizers and serums. And then down here I've got my extras. So these are extra skincare items that I haven't used yet. That's literally what I store in the Alex 9 drawers. Very good storage. And I'm quite happy with the way it is right now. Hopefully, I won't have to store too much. Um, also, on top of it, I've got this um, like a glass storage thing. My mom made this. So, I keep my jewelry, the one that I wear on a daily basis, for easy access. I keep them there. And then these are my brow products. And then this is just a loose bag to carry my lip products. And this is from, this is the lippy book. It's empty at the moment. But I just put my lip products there if I'm doing a lot of swatches. Okay. All right, so moving on to the side. On the wall, I've got my name Medea J and that was a gift from e Unique. it was actually part of a PR box and I've kept it for years because I absolutely love that sign it matches my room my room color is yellow um and so that's gold it just really matches it and then I've got like a notice board thing going on where I keep memories so collaborations with brands, pictures from events, just things to remember, you know, being a creator and all the good stuff that comes with it. So I keep them there, including notes from uh, people I've worked with, you know, thank you notes and stuff like that. I feel like it's important to remember um, why I'm doing this, who I'm helping, um, you know, the brands that I work with, all of those things, I feel like it's important to have a visual representation of that somewhere. I want to show you some of the messages and pictures. So this is from Double Down Cosmetics. And when I did the collaboration with them, which oh, was so, so surreal. And that's my collaboration. I got a card from them. Also, some of the Ofra stuff that I just like, especially the work. That's me. <laughs> I know, it makes no sense the way I've done it. I probably should have folded it so at least I could see myself, but I know what it is. And then part of the Colored Rain Juicy Boost collection, we've got this little booklet that has different juices that you can make. So sometimes I do like to make juices. That's my little eye on the clean canvas. Um, flyer from Gerard Cosmetics and then these are some older events and I'm talking about a couple of years now <laughs> this was at Revlon so it was so fun that's with Jojo um, that's with Josephine um, Jojo so fine uh, on she's on YouTube as well she's on social media she's absolutely gorgeous when you're looking for skin this girl has skin her face is amazing in there. And then, yeah, it was, it was at an event as well. And then this is the Maybelline event, again, a couple of years. And then one of the Revolution Halloween events. So that's Miss Evelyn and um, Kemi, KK Glamovers. So... There's some memories, some places where we got pictures. I just like to store some things. So, you know, it's a good memory to have. And then on top of plastic units, I've got um, two big acrylic 
drawers. Um, on top of it, I keep my foundations. Come closer. Keep my foundations on top. So I recently sorted out my foundation. So definitely check out that video if you haven't. And I did those videos as um I did those videos first just so that I wouldn't have to go through the entire collection in this particular video and you could watch the different categories if you're interested. Uh, first draw has overflow of my foundations. Uh, second draw you've got the concealers which I also have a video decluttering that. And then you've got more of the neutral bases in this draw. P. Louise, Colored Rain, ABH. Sorry, I'm holding my phone. It's so difficult to do the two. And then Colored Bases, Gerard Cosmetics, Makeup Revolution, P. Louise. And then Powders, Makeup Powders. Again, I do have a declutter video of that. And this one doesn't open because it's supposed to be like an open cover thing so I can't store anything in there because it's supposed to lift and then here I've got my Gerard Cosmetics lip products more of the Gerard Cosmetics lip products again my lip um, organization and the color video will show that this is so satisfying to me so so satisfying my lip pencils, which I haven't decluttered. I do feel like I need to go through this at some point because there are a lot of lip pencils that I haven't used in a long time. And then down here, I've got my lip glosses. You've got Trixie. You've got Makeup Revolution. And then on the side, I've got this, my Jamaican castor oil that I use for my hair. Extra battery for my camera and my misguided spray which now I'm using as a room spray. <laughs> I'm also using these fragrances as a room spray, the ones on top of my Alex drawer. I actually didn't mention that Tolu actually, this is so cool. She sent this to me as well, which is good because as I said, I don't print my own pictures. So it's really nice to have pictures from friends. And this is where reality strikes. <laughs> so I do, I am a daughter to a jewelry maker. My mom is a bead. She's a bead and jewelry maker. So I do have a lot of jewelry and I haven't really given it good organization. So I've got my earrings and bracelets and it's a mess. I'm not even going to lie. Bracelets and jewelry don't come for me. And then here it gets a little bit organized, but then at the back it's a mess. Sorry. <laughs> and then here I've got my beads, which is also a mess. So yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> I need to sort that out, but I don't have time at the moment. So we'll just pretend like we didn't see that. <laughs> and then on top of set of drawers in that corner, I've got how many acrylic? Three acrylic drawers on top of each other. I've got my Ofra lip products at the top. So if you watch my lip collection video, you know how I saw this. So the lip glosses from Ofra at the top. And then my long lasting liquid lipsticks from Ofra is the second um, drawer. And then my Revolution lip glosses. And then, because I'm so short, you guys, like I literally have to take each drawer out to be able to see. I've got my Stila and colored rain lip glosses in there and then it gets better i've got my posh culture, posh culture uh some revolution as well i really love the storage unit it's difficult now i've been trying to get myself some more but i think the seller's still out of stock but i will still link it urban k lipsticks uh some colored rain lipsticks I've got my proper beauty lipsticks and did a signature Beauty Bay ABH. This is my favorite. Pat McGrath, Emoline, Woma, the Mamak. That's the deepest one out of all of them. And then I've got Morphe, E Unique, and then some glosses, different brands, like literally different brands. 
And then uh, Kikaye Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks, really, really good. And some Liquid Lipsticks from ABH from different places. Liquid Eyeshadows and Glitters. Because I love them. That's literally what's in there. And then at the back of that, I've just got two of my daily signature palettes that I like and I want to keep because you never know they might come out with a palette that I want to do a comparison video and uh, on top I keep my makeup sponges and yeah and I, I decided I just put my extra lens so this is my Sigma lens I've had this lens for years because obviously as I said I used to um, be a freelance photographer and this is a really, really detailed lens. So I do a lot of my close-ups with this one. Okay, it's a micro lens. All right. I do have another one, but I don't really use that one as much. The notice board things are also from Amazon, which is in my Amazon storefront. The link is in the description box if you're interested. They do come in different colors. They're sticky back, so very easy to use. Also comes with pins to use on the board. All right. This one is organized, but it is still messy, but it's organized. <laughs> so the top of this, I've got, if I can open it. It doesn't want to open because it's very full. Anyway, I've got extra stuff. Extra eyeliner, lip products, like some of the extra stuff that I like to use. Here I've got my facial spray, pad, my extra hair care products. Down here I've got fragrances, nails. These are all extra. And then empty boxes for my Path McGrath lipsticks. There's nothing amazing or fancy here. This is my lash drawer. This is the only place I keep my lashes. Okay, and then oh, down here are just extra lashes and yeah, makeup remover. Nothing. Oh, nothing exciting. <laughs> nothing exciting. Okay. Let's move on to my recording space, the table. So these two lights are from newer, um, newer lights website. Again, I will link them in the description box. I didn't buy mine from Amazon. I bought it straight from newer um, because I just felt more comfortable doing that. And <clears throat> these are very bright. They're very bright lights. You can control how bright, you can control how warm, you can use battery, you can connect it to the socket, which I've done. They're so handy. They don't get hot. Um, obviously, they, they feel hot when you're recording, but I mean, they're not hot to touch. So they are quite safe. You've got flaps to kind of reduce the light if you wanted to diffuse the light. Like It's just so many added advantages of buying these lights. So this is what I use, and it sits right over my camera in front of a window. Not much light comes through this um, room space because I'm at the back of the house, and it does get quite dark. So I don't get a lot of sunlight coming through, which is good for my fragrances, it's good for recording because there's no sun in my face. So my lights are always on. Because if I switch them off, as you saw in the beginning, the room gets very dark. Okay? So that will also be in the description box if you're interested. My curtains are from Argos. I've had them for a long time. Um, they're pretty good. I've <laughs> probably only cleaned them a few times, but they are good curtains. And then on top of my recording space, let's go through... This side, I've got new fragrances that I do want to do a video on, so I've just moved them to the side. My trusty little fan. Um, the marble sticker is from Amazon. Uh, I just bought something to just cover it because I was tired of the white table staining. So the table itself is a mount table from Ikea. I've had this one for a very long time, same time as the as the uh, Alex draw, so about seven years. 
and not a single problem since I got dot the table. And it's worked in almost every living space that I've been in. It's worked really, really well. Okay. So that's my fragrance. I've got my trusty little mirror for recording. And then my camera, which I don't think I've ever shown you guys what I record with. But this is my camera and the way it's set up. Literally, I'm sat in front of it. I normally have my laptop to the side so that I can see because this doesn't have a flip out screen. Um, so I connect the wire, which is here, to my laptop so I can see what I'm doing. And this is a Canon 5D Mark II. These are generally good for photography. Um, I used to be a freelance photographer, do weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, personal shoots, all of that. I kind of stopped doing that as much. I started doing product photography after I had um, a few issues with my left wrist, <laughs> which made it difficult for carrying cameras for extensive periods of time anyway that is another story time so I kind of had to step away from that scene I normally only do like small birthdays and stuff like that uh, if it's somebody that I know and I really want to support but generally I stop doing weddings anniversaries engagements because they're long hours which means you're carrying your camera for a long time and my wrist suffered so um, so this is a Canon 5D Mark II, very old camera. Um, this is the lens of the camera. And this is a 17 by 1740 millimeter lens. This is a wide angle lens. And that's the body of the camera. You can see it says 5D Mark II. It's a really good camera. It's lasted me. I've had this camera since I was in uni. So I almost want to say it's lasted me about 10 years if not more about 10 years i've had this camera it's it's a good one and then i've just got this mic from amazon connected just to help with the sound i don't know if it does the best job i'm on the lookout for a better mic this year so hopefully i'll be able to get something better and then this tripod stand is from amazon it's just a cheap stand uh, I've had that on for a couple of years now and it works just as fine. So that's literally how I have my camera set up. Nothing fancy, just easy. And then to the side, I've got my eye stuff, just tweezers, lash applicator. And then in this keepsake box from iHeart Re Revolution, I've got samples. Um extra lip products just samples that i love to test out i've also got the makeup brushes that i'm using on my desk and i've got them in containers these are plant pots from ikea um got it the same day i got the table and the alex drawers and then to the side i've got my makeup fridge this is a style pro fridge i've had this one for a while um and then on top of that, I've got this little, um, just a little decor. It says Slay All Day. The frame is from New Look and the fridge is from Beauty Bay. But I believe you can get the Style Pro fridge from pretty much, it was a Beauty Bay, yeah. Was it Beauty, no, it was from ASOS, but I have seen it on Beauty Bay as well. Honestly, a makeup fridge is the best thing. You can store your drinks in there if you're the type of person that loves. I'm actually going to start doing that this year because I do like to have a little bit of, of it. I do like to have a little drink when I'm recording and sometimes breaking the recording to go downstairs is a pain in the ass. <laughs> so I am going to start storing some drinks in there. But if you love face masks, moisturizers, all of that good stuff, get yourself a fridge, girls. 2022. Just live a little, enjoy yourself, you know? And then I've just got empty boxes stacked up just so that I could have some height and it doesn't block um, anything. So that's literally in that corner. It's a, I feel like it's a good use of my space, to be honest. Sharpeners are in front. Got my makeup mirror here. And then on top of these small acrylic drawers, I've got my the rest of my Juicy Couture fragrances. 
my little travel spray, which is the Dior fragrance. And then at the top, I've got my Morphe lipsticks here and here. And then I've got my eye pencils here, extra eye pencils, which are new. And then this storage drawer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is supposed to hold your eyeshadow palette, but I use it to hold my extra eye pencil. So that works quite well for me. All right. So this is the top of the table. Okay. And then obviously I've got two drawers. So the first one is pretty organized, actually. I've got my immediate eye products that I use, a little notepad for ideas, my matches for my candles, um, lashes that I use, pair of scissors, lip plumper, lip products that I use, and then in this little box from Laura Mercier, I've got my fragrance samples, the ones that I'm interested in, that I'm testing out, or that I want to test out, so that kind of works for me. <laughs> nothing too fancy these containers are from isla and i use them to keep my lashes so lashes that i've worn when i tell you guys i don't have that much i know you've always wanted to see my room but i keep telling you it's not that impressive and here i've got eyeshadow palettes our uh, products that i knew that i want to test out um so i pop them here okay <laughs> okay and then i've got my little chair with my seat cover from ikea as well this is pretty old i don't know if they sell this well i don't know what the name of this one is but it's, it is pretty old and i've just got a little rag little makeup rag there underneath the table i've got that little cup that's got my hair products like my hair combs hair care product my brush cleaner, uh, sponge bag, so like uh, face sponges and stuff that I've just washed, sockets, my charger for my camera, little extra vanity box, there's nothing in it. That's literally <laughs> what's down there. As I said, this is realistic. I'm not going to go out of my way to overly tidy because this is how my room looks <laughs> on a daily basis so you're getting a feel of how it looks generally and then at the windowsill i've got my extra brushes so these jars spell medea j my mom made them from scratch she glued every single bead on there which i love so i use it to display my extra brushes i've also got another one that says h at the back which is for home and my acrylic storage, acrylic storage. And then in the corner, I've got this little jewelry bag thing that I put my um, hair dryer, extra hair dryer, um, extra straightener and stuff like that. Don't really like to use heat on my hair. So that rarely ever gets used. Hence why it's out of the way in that corner close up of the jars that my mom made these are i believe mason jars that she decorated hand decorated each one each bead and i just stole my makeup brushes in there and it's just a reminder that i come from a family of crafty people <laughs> that's the word i come from a family of people who are very very skilled you know ambitious and talent talent resides in my family so this this is for my mom and it was you know it's just one of those pivotal moments when yeah it's just really good good reminder stay humble stay special yeah <laughs> getting emotional now what's wrong with me okay so i'll stand back so you can have one more look at that all right so this is my recording space okay and then to the other side right out there i've got my little frame that says Uda Parfum. so it's a beautiful perfume bottle and lipstick because i'm makeup and fragrance 
Um, and this little paper decoration is from Amazon. Again, it's in my storefront. I think that well, it's just a beautiful accent. I really, really do love the picture frame. I got that from Danelle and they have so many and I've been looking for something that captures both my love for fragrances and makeup and I really love that one. It's like a classic Chanel bottle. I love Chanel fragrances, if not for anything, but the aesthetic is just gorgeous. And then uh, lipstick, because obviously I'm a lip model, so I love lipsticks. Have a lot. <laughs> so I feel like that kind of pulls my personality quite well. Um, and just it just adds to the room, it adds to the design of the room which I absolutely love. So this side of the room is just basically like my fragrances and then you've got the table and it just looks really, really cohesive. And then to the side of that, I've got my fragrance organization. So on top, I keep my empty boxes, my color coordinated fragrance collection. I've got pinks, my gold bottles, I've got reds, purples, and I've got my overflow, so I've got my whites, my blues, blacks over there, all on an empty black box. So this is how it's stored. These roses are also from the same place I got the big one, which is also linked in my Amazon storefront. They're actually paper roses. They're so pretty. Sticky back paper roses and butterflies gold butterflies, pink ones. It does come in different colors. So if you want black, I think it comes in black, it comes in blue maybe, but definitely check it out. I think it's beautiful. I do want to get more, maybe get pink ones up there, get gold ones. You know what I mean? Like really spread out the roses on this wall as much as possible. That's kind of like the end goal. I'll bring you up close to the shelving unit. So there are um, individual shelves that you purchase from Ikea. These ones, they don't have a name, but they're like individual shelves. They come two in a pack and then you buy the floating shelf on its own. There are holes for you to screw. No, actually this one doesn't come with holes. You create the holes for you to screw it, but it's so soft. It's easy to just force the screw through, which is basically what I did. And so each shelving unit is separate. And then you get the two brackets separately as well. Um, and I think it works. You could do so much. Like if you're into nail polishes, even you could store your eyeshadow palettes on there. You could store it's basically anything. They're quite sturdy. And this is actually a plaster board anyway. So it's not brick or anything. And it's sitting quite strong. So for me, this is one of the best storage solutions I could think of for my fragrances. I did initially want to like sort them out and put them in there. But then, I don't know, I just really like the way the eyeshadow palettes are sitting. So I decided to just have, you know, both my passions. So eyeshadow palettes and beauty stuff on one side of the room and then my fragrances on the other side. So I really like the way it came out and then give you a quick overview of the fragrances that i have there is no particular way of um in terms of arranging the scent um profiles based on color i've just literally gone by height because i am quite short so i need to be able to see the fragrances at the back so i know what i've got without um having to struggle the only one and i know it's there is the ceruti uh 1881 and it's because that one really really aggravates my asthma but i've got it for sentimental reasons so but i know it's there so i can see all the fragrances um all lined up so it's just according to height based on color same here but at least this layer i can see a little bit more and i do love um my scent profile is pretty much gourmand sweet floral but the type of floral has to be well balanced i don't want too powdery i don't want too drying i want 
very beautiful um type of floral so that kind of just yeah and then obviously on this roll um the purples the browns these are more of my sensual colors and actually a lot of these fragrances i wear them during the cooler months same as this roll but fragrances like the orchid what's it the floral street vanilla orchid i really love that fragrance um because i wonder i wear quite often this one this jasmine wisp i really love this one it smells beautiful 212 sexy is a classic for me i've always had that fragrance in my collection the oud touch as well is a beautiful very long lasting fragrance so these are some of my most reached for and obviously the Dolce & Gabbana, Poire Femme and some more. So yeah, I do have a fragrance video, as I said, definitely check that out Um, because I go a little bit more like line by line, fragrance by fragrance, telling you which ones I have in my collection. And to the side, I've got my uh, reflector. So these are on, again, these are all sticky back um, hooks. You can get them from Amazon, also in my shop front. This bag is a bag that I purchased from Makeup by Namisa. Um, I love her. She's a beautiful creator and she created that bag. Like this is her graphic. So I purchased her, her stuff. Um, she lives in the Netherlands, so... I wanted to support her because I love her and I've been following her for a long time. We do have a collaboration, pretty old one, but a collaboration here on YouTube. So this is this wall, okay? Now, this is literally what you see to the side of me when I'm recording, all right? And then on the floor, I've got my dirty makeup brushes, which we will not talk about. Like, look at the bag. Like... <sighs> Literally, with me, I change my makeup brushes every other day, so I will always have a lot of makeup brushes to wash. And then I've started keeping some empties. I've got little hand weights that I like to use in the mornings. And then right on top of the fragrance, I've got, or rather right below the fragrances, excuse me, I've got these, am I going to record this now? <laughs> I've got these drawers. So my sunglasses stay on top. So I've got lots of sunglasses there. And then in this drawer, I've got my loose eyeshadows from E Unique, my collaboration with Double Down, my loose eyeshadow. Um, yeah, just loose eyeshadow. And then the ABH liner. And then here I've got my Elegant Touch Nails, nail products. And then down here I've got extra jewelry in the boxes, which is a lot. Whew. All right. Well, almost done because literally that, that's the room. And then at the back I've got my wig. Hi, hair. How are you? Right there. Just hanging, just hanging on a hook. <laughs> So that is it. That's literally it. Lampshade. There is nothing else to show you guys. Like for real, for real. This is my little room. I told you it's not a lot, but I am super appreciative for what I have. And it took me a while to get to this point. And I'm so happy with the way my room turns out. Rather, I'm so happy with the way my room turned out. It makes recording quite enjoyable. Sometimes I just come here and sit and just, you know, just reflect. And it's so, so nice. So I'm going to do like just a quick run through the room. I'll put a little bit of music just so you can see the room in its entirety. But this is literally it. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions for like where I got stuff or if you want to know what I where I got it from how much or how I store things or you just need just anything just definitely leave it as a comment and yeah
I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Turn on your notification bell so you know when next I release a video. And remember, God doesn't like ugly. Be nice to one today and Black Lives Always Matter. And I'll catch you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.